Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a little bit of a video that I wanted to make for a little while. Um, <clears throat> we can see here my large format Delta 3D printer that I've designed. For any new subscribers here, this is a, a printer I call Phoenix. And this is a very large three foot tall Delta 3D printer that I've made. And it's been my workforce for the longest while. Um, I did want to make a video here because I think in the past, um, Deltas have gotten kind of a bad rap with accuracy and ease of use and that type of thing. And I really think it was down to the firmware that was available um, back in the day. I definitely had a Delta 3D printer like eight years ago or something like that. It was a CME CNC uh, Delta. And I had a, tons and tons and tons of issues with it. Just trying to get that thing level was a nightmare. Um, with like modern firmware, even like Marlin's improved, but Clipper, um, even RepRap firmware, Delta printers are just as good as Core XY printers in my opinion. Um, I have printed a lot of 3D printer parts on this printer and they fit flawlessly. I printed a lot of Core XY printer parts and assembled those printers. Everything's worked fine. I have, uh, I've actually printed this pr part on this printer. Um, so, you know, accuracy and things like that, I've had no problems with them not being accurate or anything like that. Clipper does have a really great uh, calibration, two calibration um, methods. The first basic calibration actually calculates the length of the arms, where the end stops are and all that kind of thing. And the perfect, the first layer is always excellent on this printer. It, it doesn't assume or just take the numbers you give it. You, you give it some basic numbers like, hey, this is the length I think the arms are. You know, this is where my end stops are located, that type of thing. But then using a probe, Clipper verifies all this information and it calculates all that stuff accurately so that you get a really good dialed in printer. Secondly, there is a secondary calibration where you will print out a large part and take quite a few measurements between points, all that kind of thing. And Clipper will take those and calculate um, to make sure that your parts are accurate. There's the correct distance. Things are uh, an actual perfect circle. They're not oval, you know, all that kind of thing. So Modern firmware has fixed through has fixed Delta printers in my opinion, and they are they are just as accurate as a Core XY. Um, I like Deltas because the parts count is way less. There's so many, there's such few parts on a Delta 3D printer. These are really awesome printers to build, and I think that's also demonstrated too with FL Sun. Um, that company is bringing out Delta 3D printers now. I think uh, that's proof too that Delta 3D printers have come a long way and that they are accurate now. Um, you have a lot of like the Speed Racer Delta 3D printer, the Q5, uh, QSS, I believe. Um, even like TiVo had the little monster. That's kind of what inspired me to build this printer is I wanted a really large Delta like the TiVo little monster. Um, so yeah, these are great 3D printers. And like I say, um, I have actually used that printer to print any of these black PETG parts that you see. I, I actually printed them on that Delta and they fit absolutely perfectly. No issues whatsoever. So that's, that's proof right there. The next bit of uh, kind of a test I could do for you guys is I actually uh, 3D printed here a uh, Patterson cube. So this is probably the best way that I can demonstrate this. These gray parts here, I printed on my Core XY, and this blue part, I printed on my Delta. These are two completely different printers, and these fit together perfectly, without any issues. Um, that being said, too, the, my Delta printed these blue parts in PETG, and these are ABS. So, I mean, these aren't even the same filament. My Delta actually is a Bowden extruder. It's a bit difficult for me to tune linear advance and things like that. So these parts are even a little bit, you know, um, not as nice as I'd like them to be compared to my direct drive of Voron Trident here. But you can see these parts print 
uh, printed well and they fit together very well. Here's two of the parts. You can see there's a gap here, but this isn't because the part's not accurate. This is just because the, the part here, I can't tune like the ridges and stuff out of it. Uh, just because my Bowden tube is very, very long and it's very difficult for me to, to tune that. But like I say, these parts print together or fit together very accurately. And this is probably the best example I can give and proof as far as I can tell, deltas are just as accurate as a uh, Core XY. Um, so yeah, I, I hope this helps someone and I hope this maybe encourages people to look into Delta 3D printers. And, you know, even if you can find a, if you're, you know, skeptical or you want to try one, even you can find a used one on your marketplace, local marketplace. Um, a lot of times you can find cheaper deltas that uh, someone's had and you can get a good discount. And they're really great printers. Uh, I generally find them quiet and uh, they can print very, very fast. Um, one thing I should mention here too, you know, what's very important and the reason why I built this printer myself is I had a couple requirements that were a must have for me. You can see here, these are magnetic ball ends on my 3D printer. These are high quality carbon fiber rods with very good magnets. And the reason for that is there's no play in, in this actual effector uh, linkage here. There are printers that use like ball lens, which are not as accurate. And you'll see that they have like springs in between these. That's to tension them up so that they don't have any play. And the magnetic uh, maglev kind of, or um, Hayden Huntley is the arms that I have here. These are much, much better. And in my opinion, the first part to a good Delta 3D printer. So that's a consideration for anyone out there who's interested in a Delta make sure that you have nice quality arms here because this will make or break your printer. And again, like I say, that's why I chose to design my own. I wanted to control what this printer had as far as arms. You can see here, this uses linear rails. It doesn't use V slot wheels or anything like that. Um, this printer is super quiet and you can print very fast. I print a lot of times, I print at 100, 150 millimeters a second on this printer. And as you can see, it's quite large. So. If anyone has any comments below, please let me know. And uh, again, thanks everyone for subscribing. Um, please like and share. Thank you.